just let me see. I ain't worried about shit, these niggas ain't scaring me. I was destined for this life, it's in my destiny. Welcome back to my channel today. I filmed my skincare routine for you guys. I also talked about all the products I use, where I got them, and how much they were. So you guys could go out and get them if you guys wanted to get them. And there's not really that much talking to do about this, so let's just get straight into it. So this is the Clean and Clear Essentials Swimming Facial Cleanser. It's really good at taking off makeup and it really makes my skin feel really good. This is my everyday face wash and I use this every day before I do any of the other stuff to my face. I use this in the morning and at Walmart. I think all these are from Walmart except for one product that I got from Target. But yeah, so this is my face wash and this is the first step in my skincare routine. If I don't feel like using my face face wash i use the shea moisture african black sub clarifying facial wipes i do get these from walmart as well and i really do like these i think the only thing that i don't like about this is the smell but they're really good at cleaning my face so after i use my face wash usually the second step that i do is i use the shea moisture african black soap clarifying mud mask and this has this has African this has African black soap, tamarind extract, and tea tree oil. And it looks like this. Just it's not like super runny. It's pretty thick. Like if I go like this, it's not like coming out. But it does look like this and it has a creamy consistency. It's really thick. When I use this mask right here, I use this brush. It's just a foundation brush. After I wash my face, I dry my face. And then I apply this all over my face. So yeah, um, the next product that I use after, and it's the Freeman Polishing um, Charcoal and Black Sugar Scrub, and I use this to exfoliate my face, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, after I'm done washing the mask off my face, I leave my face wet, and then I apply like a quart, like this much, a quarter size amount in my palm, and then I like rub it around my face, and I like, you know, do all that stuff. And then I wash that off and then I use this mask and this is the purifying avocado and oatmeal mask and this is a clay mask and um, this is a 10 minute mask and I use this after and I feel like it really cools my face down and um, it really like tightens my pores because it's, it's a really cooling mask like it, I don't know like why it gives that feeling but it's a really cooling mask and I feel like it's just perfect to like relax my face. So after I'm done using that, I would go in with my almond oil. And it comes in a thing like this. Like as you can see, like it's still full. Like I just got this one. But I use this. I use this almond oil. And I really love this stuff. It does have a smell to it. And I actually like how this one smells. It smells really nice. So yeah, that's what I would usually do during the week. I don't exfoliate my face every day. I use these masks like every other day and I know you're not supposed to do that because it's bad for your skin but I just I feel the need to and I use all these products like every other day and yeah so that's like the order that I would go in and then on days that I don't do this mask after I'm done um washing my face I use one of these these are the black charcoal masks ones that like you peel off after they dry and this one's from Target. I got this one from my friend Michaela. Probably should give this back to her. But yeah, this one hurts a lot. And this one I got from Walmart. And this one doesn't hurt as much. But both of them feel really good. Like they have like a tingly feeling on your face. And when you peel them off, like it really does pull stuff out. And it feels great. Like it just makes my fin, my fin, <laughs> my skin feel so nice. So I use these. And then on days when I use both of these, I use these Vior pore strips. The charcoal ones on my nose because I have a, I have a lot of blackheads on my nose but I use these on my nose and yeah so like I would put this on my nose and then I would apply one, this like anywhere around that area that I don't have the pore strip on. These are all the products that I use for my face so that's enough talking about them let's just get into the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna take warm water and then I'm just gonna, you know, wash my face. 
And now I'm just gonna rinse it off. So now I'm gonna go into the mask. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna wet the brush first. So after I wet the brush, I'm just gonna go into this. Just gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this mask on for 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back when it's done. So I figured I would just show you guys what this looks like outside of the bathroom lighting because it is not good in there. And um, this is what it looks like. It's like this dark gray color. I don't put a lot on. Like it's not opaque. Like you can still see through some of my skin. Like I put a lot here, but um this is what it looks like after I just put it on. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it starts to dry down a little bit. So um, the mask is starting to dry now and it's been like 7 minutes. And um, you can see that it's like a darker shade. I actually think that I can wash it off now. I didn't apply that much so it's um, pretty much good now. So I'm going to go ahead and head into the bathroom and go wash it off. So now that the mask is dry, I'm going to take a washcloth. And I'm going to wet it with warm water and I'm going to wipe this off. So now that I wiped it all off, I'm just going to rinse my face with water. And now that my face is still wet, I'm going to take this and just pour this in my hand and and I'm just gonna rinse that off Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take this mask, put it all over my face. This one's thicker, like, really thick. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and I'll be back again. This is what the mask looks like on and like right here it's already starting to dry. But this one does dry down and it like tightens your face. So I'm trying to record this before like you know. But this is what it looks like on the skin. It doesn't really change it like this is dry right here. And this is like you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the video but this is dry completely. So this is what the mask looks like when it's dry. It's completely matte. Like as you guys can see, like up here, it starts to crack. It's all dry. You see little powder. It's like powder coming off. But yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off. And I don't want to use the rag for this one. I'm gonna actually like wash it off. But everybody's sleeping in my house right now, so I can't take you guys into the bathroom or else I'm going to be too loud. So I'm just going to come back when I'm done. So I'll be back in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it off with my almond oil. I'm just going to like go like this twice and then I take whatever's on my fingers. And then I just... I'm going to take a little bit more. Like one more. And I just rub it on the tips of my fingers and I'm gonna apply it to my forehead. 
and then okay guys so that about wraps up this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel follow all my social medias will be in the description box down below and at the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one I'm popping up at parties, drinking on Bacardi, singing Cool J. I just wanna love you better, and I just wanna love you better. You know, cause it's winter weather, and I need my baby back. Ain't I crazy?